the Society for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, or SIN at IIT Bombay, is one of India's oldest and most trusted startup incubators. For over 20 years, SIN has helped young founders turn bold ideas into real businesses. As part of the SIN Startup Founder Series, My Startup TV had the opportunity to meet some amazing entrepreneurs rising from this vibrant ecosystem. Today, on the Science Startup Founder Series, My Startup TV hosted Mr. Soumya Bhattacharya, who is the Chief Technology Officer of Sust Labs. We began our conversation by asking him what his startup does and the business they are building. The device which you see, so basically we are AI inside metering. So metering, yes, many, it's a, it's a, it's a very old technology, many startups, many established enterprises are into it. But what we are doing is we are introducing AI inside metering. So that is kind of a very uh, new thing, a very novel thing. Although the technology which we are using are very old technology, but the way we are doing is a very new thing. So basically what we have done is we have created a uh, operating system inside the meter. Not technically. Why we say it's an operating system is because we can develop platforms over it. So for example, we have developed a platform for you know real-time electricity energy monitoring. We have developed a, developed a platform wherein we can actually predict fires and find electric faults. So that's what it is. So basically we can, so this device, it goes inside the main switchboard of the house and it pairs with your home Wi-Fi. And then it, it gets to, you know, uh, it, it throws all the actionable insights, you know, like uh, real-time electricity energy monitoring, how much is your AC consuming, how much is your diesel consuming, and everything is in real time. And it also helps in predicting fires or electrical faults. I mean, it can detect short circuit, it can detect earth leakage, it can detect parking and many more such, you know, uh, hazardous things which can happen in day-to-day -day life. And so your solution is basically on one side, it is increasing the efficiency mm -hmm. while it also gives you visibility of what's the what power you're consuming yes. for a household. And on top of it, with the AI, it's also giving safety. So all yes. three are getting connected. Efficiency, you know, the visibility of what's the consumption exactly. and safety. Right? Exactly. So that's what you do. Exactly. So yes. you know, how did this all start? I mean, where did you start? What is there a story behind, you know, because these kind of things don't happen and until you're an electric engineer wanting to fix something. <laughs> how did it start? Yeah, yeah, no, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, so we were three co-founders. Uh, we started in 2016. Uh, first, we started with commercial establishments, you know, Delhi Metro. Mahindra Logistics and all. So uh, at that point of time, we were actually, you know, working on their data, on their data. We were not mining any data. We we were not a product company at that point of time. It was a service company and we were uh, working on the data. And what we realized is we were giving insights and actionable insights to them. But what used to work for Mahindra Logistics when it was not working for Telemetro. Obviously, because it's a commercial and you need to customize a lot. So we we did it for like around six months, but we realized that it's very difficult to scale because obviously there's a lot of customization. So we have to pivot. At that point of time, we pivoted to, you know, uh, engaging with uh, utilities. So we had a few friends in Tata Power. They introduced us to Jusco. So Jusco is a distribution utility in Jamshedpur. So there we did a, you know, um, a kind of pilot, you can say, with 1,000 uh, houses, wherein we also build them 20 rupees per household. And we did it for three months, and we actually achieved savings of 17.5%. And by, while working with their data, we, we absolutely did nothing. And what, still you were not a product company, you are still a service we company. We were still a service company, because we didn't have any product as such. We were working on their data. And what we did was, we just compared people. That's the only thing we did. And you were saying 17% saving yes. was for the individual household? No, the overall, I mean, overall when you, I mean, individual household might have... Average. Okay. Yeah, average of all the households. Well, of the thousand households. Of the thousand households, yes. And that's a huge saving, isn't it? And when you talk about it, one is, you know, saving of... For individual user, less bill. Yeah. But overall, if you see, that yeah. the extra power to be distributed elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? That's yeah. how it works out, right? When yeah. you are able to save, exactly. 
as a distribution company you have extra power to get it get exactly, it out right exactly exactly so so basically where you know the, uh, mumbai is a very stable grid i mean this is not a great example but elsewhere apart from mumbai you know the grid is not that stable it's it's kind of unstable so the distribution companies has to procure in real time you know in 15 minutes uh, the electricity and that too is a, i mean that is a very premium amount they pay so if you have this kind of a demand side management it helps the utilities definitely obviously this was in a very thousand houses very small quantity but yeah if it is widespread then it absolutely helps so at what stage did you decide or what was that that said okay now we need to become a product company yes. also yes so coming to that so uh, this this went on for around another 6 months so what we realized is yes we were achieving saving but it was becoming saturated i mean savings cannot be what used to happen is we used to compare the neighbors right and people generally always try to be in the me i mean the median they don't want to be outliers they don't want to be the one who is actually spending the most in electricity you know as compared to everyone is saving in electricity why am i or why am i spending so low you know people always try to be in the means so that's how it happened 17 and a half it's all human behavior human change we didn't do we didn't prescribe anything we didn't do anything we just compare that's the only thing so, but that is that become saturated after 6 months that won't i mean well, it it won't go on mm-hmm. so we realized that you know at that point of time we understood that we have to mine our own it i mean uh, i mean we have to start generating more data. I mean, what we used to do was just work on their data and their data is just one i mean i think in most of the houses not mumbai but yeah most of the houses a, a person will come and read the electricity meter once a month that's it right so that was our source of data so uh, we understood that you know we have to build a product uh, we have to do it in a very affordable way as well so that's when we spent around 9 to 10 months and we came up with our a solution kind of a thing not a product <laughs> very and, and that's what this is no no this is a no. very higher version okay. so that was a solution you know that was like three different parts going in you know installing uh, but this is kind of a you know the advanced version of that yes yes absolutely this is yeah. this so so you want to explain this as to how does this go about how do you how do you fix it where do you fix it sure, and sure. what does it do absolutely so as you can see the form factor it's absolutely same as the meter which we have in mm-hmm. main switch board i mean that was the idea to you know build uh, such a form factor so that it's easy for any oems i mean any anyone to you know install they don't have to think about it so that's why we made it dinner so that it can easily fix these are cities so you can see four cities you can see in that yeah, yeah. as well four small cities so these are like uh, i mean each and i mean three phase houses has rybi i mean three phases mm-hmm. so rybi and neutral and this is a cbct so this is basically we install it for earth leakage detection so so this is how it is installed it is installed inside the mcb switches cts are connected over the phases and it goes through cbct that's it and installing something like this does it require any special permission from the electrical depart- uh, department no it doesn't require any special permission so this is in the user premise hmm, yeah this is not in the uh, because uh, there are gray areas when you come to working with a common department yeah. they might come and say oh why is this installed without us knowing it <laughs> so because why i ask is mm-hmm. because we had such experience so sure. the electric department comes up and says hey, you tampered with the thing yeah, and we yeah, don't know so is there any special requirement for households to take or anybody who wants to so i'll explain that uh every society or even individual house has a meter meter room right mm. every society has yes. a meter room so anything before that meter room i mean before in the sense from the supply side it's not uh, i mean we can't touch that mm. that is totally uh, on discoms but anything after that is all user premise is all contract i mean whoever is the electrical contractor you know contracted by uh, the builders mm. it is their problem that is that means it is user problem so after that you can put anything i mean you can put sub meters you can put i mean you can put these yes. kind of and things. for each meter there needs to be one even if it is a gated community or yeah, for or each, apartment building yeah, for, for each, each one home yeah for each home one you were talking about data mining through this right yeah. so what happens if you can explain that i mean when you have something like this you installed it yes. so as a company what do you do yes so when it is installed it is installed in the main switchboard of the home so switchboard is inside the home 
it's not even in the meter room might be you know uh, i mean in the basement or wherever i mean but it is inside the home it is connected it is paired with your wi-fi home wi-fi just like your chromecast or fire stick and then it is live as soon as it is live we collect data i mean we collect it in real time i mean this is also in commercial side you know when you install it let's say in showrooms and yeah. your you know uh, like you said tech mahindra or the mahindra mm, and, mahindra. The, and the delhi metro yeah. there also they come to know right it's come yeah, yeah absolutely come. absolutely yeah. Yeah. so they come to know also as to where the maximum consumption is happening yes so i'm just connecting this also that gives you an idea as to where to where to actually put your solar grid to connect to true absolutely isn't it absolutely yes 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 yeah? absolutely kya ke mujhe pata ki mera geyser and other things are taking more power yeah so instead of giving a connection to the whole house yes i might as well just specifically fix ki bhai 60% it cover covers that's good enough for me absolutely that is that is actually our future plan you know that is what we are trying to do in future where in you know you exactly know uh, i mean not you exactly know the grid will automatically define i mean that will automatically suggest whether you should take the power from uh, i mean the grid i mean obviously if you have a solar then whether you take the power from grid or battery or you know or the main or the solar online solar yes, you know online correct. grid so that's also the same thing yeah so this is not something user will decide that is what the actionable insights will suggest you to do so that so is something we are you going to also come up with some feature where the device itself decides and does it on its own instead yes. of me having to get used to it exactly uh, getting into exactly it? that is that is the plan i mean that that's is your future plan yes yes that is the plan i mean future plan we have already worked a lot mm. i mean there we are almost there yeah that is that is something we want to do yes so the mindset switch from being a service provider to somebody is a product right yeah uh, what did you have to do i mean was it easy and in terms of finding people who could manufacture for you and within your team the switch of you know because so being from service to manufacturing it's yeah. not easy right yeah, yeah. like what india is going through <laughs> from a service industry you know bpos and all now we are trying to be a manufacturer it requires a lot it, a lot of resources have to come in yeah. a lot of push has to happen yes. so what kind of change did you go through i think the first uh, I, i mean that was 2018 at that point of time when we actually decided you know when we have to make a product you know we can't live with what resources are mm-hmm. there it's it's not it's not it's not going to help at that point of time so that's when we decided to actually you know make a product it was obviously very challenging because uh, although it's a old technology but it's not attempted by a lot of people mm-hmm. that is the main thing i mean you won't get uh, you know you won't get materials on the internet you won't get so we had to take help from a lot of people i mean our friends uh, who are in electric engineer many professors i mean iit as well so so that's how we did it and uh, do you manufacture this now yourself or do you outsource it we don't manufacture it. you outsource it? yeah okay. we have outsourced okay. and and uh, you know so as a startup you know currently where are you in terms of revenues and mm-hmm. uh, now if you have to do a pitch as a you know 30 <laughs> seconds you want to tell tell about your startup in terms of yeah. revenues for potential investors out there yeah yeah or talk about in, in a minute about you know your startup where yeah. you are in terms of revenues investment mm-hmm. and what are you looking for going forward sure so in terms of investment we have recently raised pre series a round uh, very recently i mean i mean i mean not that i mean april april was the month where we raised pre series a and in terms of revenue uh, now we are hitting more than 1 million arr in arr from you know to, i mean we have all the top developers in mumbai like rustam ji prestige dosti and all you know so we are at this point of time that is our channel you know uh, going to the real estate developers through mep consultants not the direct uh, not the developers directly but through mep consultant there's a reason for that uh, it's just that it helps in you know uh, quicker re- receivables and you know they have a greater i mean they have a good channel you know that's that's what it is uh, so yeah revenue and investment that's and then you're trying to raise would you be raising in future yes we we are trying to raise the next round i, I mean we want to do it a little quick because and what what is what's, what what are you trying to raise how much i mean the last raise pre series a was 1 million so this that is million dollars Yeah, yeah, one million dollars. Mm-hmm. Uh, this will be close to five to seven million dollars. Okay, we already got soft commitments of around three, three, four uh, million. Uh, but yeah, we want to construct it at least a five million round. That's what we. Uh, and as a business, you know, uh, 
what do you see yourself doing in next five years? I mean, because there's also we talked, you, you, you spoke about commercial, right? Yes. The com commercial entities that need your service. Yeah, yeah. You know, expansion itself, scaling itself as a mm -hmm. business. What's your plan for the next five years? Absolutely. You know, commercial is something, uh, although we are very much, you know, uh, very much into residential, but commercial is also, we are keeping an eye on, like every third wave coffee store has our product. Every, um, uh, so Zepto are also taking our product. Then Tribhuvans are very, so all these, you know, uh, we have these, in terms of industry, we, AstraZeneca has used our product. So that's what, I mean, we are, uh, we are in commercial and uh, industry as well. But, uh, at this point of time, we are not really going gung-ho on that. We are mindful of that. But, you know, in the future, we will definitely do commercial. Any you challenges know? that you have in your journey that you're facing currently? Any challenges as a business? Nothing? I mean, business, I mean, there are... <laughs> I mean, if you don't have challenges, you can't run a startup. I mean, what, what I mean by that uh, is, are there any challenges that need a fix that either from the government side, either okay. from, you know, uh, the investor side or either in a startup enabler system itself. Sure. Okay. That, okay. In that aspect, you know, um, yes, we have a challenge, you know, uh, for example, when we are, uh, so selling in Mumbai has become very easy because of, you know, GR compliance. So there was a government requirement wherein uh, each and every uh, high rise building need to have such a product which can detect fire and there is 14 parameters they have listed out it's a government requirement they, they have listed out so this was a mandatory requirement for oc from the builder yeah. so this is how our sales boosted you know this is how there are and this is why even competition also came into effect so there are three companies who are doing it at the moment in mumbai and of course this is why sales has boosted now this is not present in any other uh, city or state while everyone is trying to, uh, it's it's a it's it's also known that you know most of the regions in India try to copy Mumbai. I mean, whatever has happened in Mumbai, everyone wants to follow. So probably everyone has that agenda, but it has not yet come into effect. And it's a GR, you know, it's not a law or something like that. GR comes absolutely low in the pegging order, mm -hmm. so it is not picking up. So it is only picked up by the even top top developers. So if it comes to other cities, like even uh, Mumbai, we are talking about even if Pune gets to adopt, you know, different metros get to adopt. So it will help a lot for us, you know. We believe that this will definitely come into, into the, in the future. I mean, safety is becoming very important. So uh, my startup TV, we are a media house for entrepreneurs sure. like you. We carry your uh, we carry your message, your startup, you know, message to across the world. Understood. What do you think? What kind of work we are doing? How important is a platform like ours for you? I think it's important. You know, I think you are providing a voice to the startup and help that voice reach to the intended uh, people, intended stakeholders. Probably that, that way you are helping a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Soumya, thank you for being on our show and we hope to see you again in one of our shows. Thanks a lot. Thank I enjoyed you. a lot talking to you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to My Startup TV.